In the season opener against number 14 UC Irvine, the Raging Cajuns held a 4-2 lead until the fifth inning when the Ant Eaters put together a five-run inning to push past the Cajuns. Some good to build off of, nonetheless, as in Game 1, the Cajuns hit three homers and had the opportunity to even the series in Game 2 today. UC Irvine, one of three top 25 teams the Cajuns will face in the first two weekends. Ant Eaters get on the board first, two on base. Jacob Castro hits a single to right. Justin Torres crosses the dish, early lead for UC Irvine. In the bottom of the first, UL responds, bases loaded, Connor Kimple. That one gets through the right field. Max Marshock and Tyler Robertson score. Cajuns take the lead back, 2-1. to one. A Carson Rockefort sack fly would make it 3-1. to one. Fifth inning now, Nathan Church sends one up the middle past Chipper Menard. And Teashi Nakawaki scores, and that is one of three runs the Ant Eaters grab in the fifth. Once again, though, the Cajuns respond. Marshock on base. Robertson sends a chopper to right, brings another run home, tied at four. And then Connor Kimple, four RBI on the day. He sends one over the wall and right. That makes it six to four. Cajuns. Kyle DeBarge also has an RBI after that. The final is seven to four. So the Cajuns even up the series at one apiece. Head coach Matt Daggs pleased with how the offense operated today. It makes it nice when you don't have to depend on actual base hits to score. And uh, that takes the pressure off guys, especially when you're looking to settle in and get in a groove offensively. Uh, and we're able to manufacture with our legs. And that was kind of a MO for us today. And so we were able to, to create some bunt base hits, shorten the field down, and then steal some bases and kind of spin the game a couple of times, which is great to see. You know, just kind of taking what the game gives you and uh, not trying to do too much. Um, you know, just pitches that you can hit to right field, and I hit them.